Hi, Kate. Hi, Jane. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Amanda Iman. I am the priest at St. Philip's Church in Garrison. And I'm happy to be here reading some of my favorite children's books today. And I'm going to read The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And Good Night Moon. These are two of my daughter's favorite books. She's two and a half, she'll be three this summer. So I thought I would share these favorite books of ours with you all. So the first is The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. And it's published by Philomo Books, a division of Penguin Young Readers Group. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop, out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. There's the caterpillar and the bright sunshine. started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. There's the one apple. There's the caterpillar looking for the apple. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. One, two pears. Here he comes out of the apple into the pears. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. One, two, three plums. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. One, two, three, four strawberries. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. Here he comes out of the strawberries into the oranges. One, two, three, four, five oranges. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. He ate through all of this food. No wonder he had a stomach ache, right? The next day was Sunday again, and the caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. 
And after that, he felt much better. There's the leaf. And there he is walking away from the leaf, feeling much, much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. There he is, nice and plump. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks and then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out. There's the cocoon. And when he pushed his way out, he was a beautiful butterfly. Lots of beautiful colors. Beautiful butterfly, right? So that's the story of the hungry caterpillar. This next book is a favorite that you might read at bedtime. It's called Good Night Moon. By Margaret Wise Brown and pictures by Clement Hurd. And it's published by HarperCollins Publishers. HarperCollins Children's Books, a division of HarperCollins Publishers. Good Night Moon. It's, this is one of our favorites to read at bedtime. I hope you like it, or maybe you know it. In the great green room, there was a telephone and a red balloon and a picture of the cow jumping over the moon. Look at that cow. And there were three little bears sitting on chairs. One, two, three. Three bears sitting on chairs. And two little kittens and a pair of mittens. There they are. There are the two kittens and the pair of mittens. And a little toy house and a young mouse. There's the house. Oh, and there's the mouse over there. and a comb and a brush and a bowl full of mush. There's the comb and the brush and the bowl full of mush. And a quiet, quiet old lady who was whispering, hush. Good night, room. Good night, moon. Good night, cow jumping over the moon. Good night, light, and the red balloon. Good night, bears, and good night, chairs. It's 
getting darker in this room, isn't it? It's getting to be bedtime. And the moon is coming up. Good night, kittens. And good night, mittens. Good night, clocks. And good night, socks. Oh, the moon is coming up a little bit higher now. Good night, little house. And good night, mouse. Good night, comb. And good night, brush. Good night, nobody. Good night, mush. And good night to the old lady whispering. Hush. Look at that moon coming up really high in the sky now. And the room is getting very dark. Good night, stars. Good night, air. Those are pretty stars. Good night, noises everywhere. So dark now, and the moon is up. Yeah. That was good night, moon. I hope you enjoyed those books. Those are some of our favorites, and I hope that you enjoyed them, and maybe you have them at home too. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope that we get some sunshine soon. That would be nice. Take care. Bye-bye.